Welcome to 1407 Great Malkin Lane, the living memory of the X-Men. Don't let anyone tell you different. Okay, so finally, finally, the conclusion to Judgment Day, number six. Okay, so we're jumping right into this. Um, like, a lot doesn't really happen. I don't know. It's just like the Eternals have a new god. Uh, the Eter the Eternals also are hated by humanity because they revealed what they do. And the mutants are like, "Welcome to the club." It. I mean, it's cool. Like I, I Karen Gillian is doing his thing. Lucas Winnick doing his thing. I love it. Um, just, I, I, I just wonder what does this mean going forward? Are we going to get? Are the Eternals going to get a new book, or like, what's going to happen with Orcus and the X Men? Where do they stand right now? Where do Eternals in the X Men and Krakoa? Sorry, just where, where do we go from here? And hey man i'm all for it this book i thought this book was going to be so long and i was right it is so long like just i love karen gilliam but jesus christ all right i'm giving this book because i kind of like the ending and i really like there's a there's some, some really cool stuff in here don't, don't get me wrong i don't i don't hate this book we'll get to that one later uh like just it's fine it's fine it's a nice little it wraps everything up with a bow kind of and now i'm just like okay cool this could have been shorter but you know whatever <coughs> <coughs> but uh i'm giving this book a four out of five stars all in all the, the entire event uh no one's really gonna remember this i feel like the eternals they're, they're gonna go back into obscurity and or you know at least we get it until we get an eternal sequel because everything has a sequel except for hulk hulk all right this is 1407 gray malkin lane signing out